Hey everyone, this is Ty with Spicy Exotics. It's early June 2019 and it's been raining over the last 24 hours, but more specifically, we received or recorded over four inches of rain on our weather station over the last hour. It's just stopped and as you can see here in front of us, we have a neon variety that's put out lots of blooms but this has happened over the last two nights so it's in good shape unfortunately we have a few single flowers we're gonna go take a look at um, here we have a purple haze flower and as you can see this stigma uh, has seen better days so what we're gonna do is uh, we've collected some pollen here uh, over the last day it's been in the in the refrigerator uh, we collected it yesterday and we're going to apply it on these flowers we're not expecting any more rain uh, otherwise I would apply the pollen on here with the with the paintbrush and um, then I would cover it with a plastic bag. Um, in order to also salvage this, I could have uh, placed plastic bags over all these flowers. You can see here, this stigma, it's, uh, it's not as bad a shape. But the one thing that I want to point out, this is a purple haze, I'm sorry, this is a pink panther variety. But one interesting thing that happens with purple haze, it has a very large stigma and it protrudes from the flower. So it took a lot of moisture. Uh, but jumping back, uh, we didn't have time to, to cover the flowers. Uh, so we're just going to run with it. Um, what I'm going to do is um, just tap dry the stigma real gentle with, with these cloths. And then I'm going to apply the pollen and then we'll see what happens in a day or so we'll take a couple uh, look at a couple more flowers this is a cetaceous variety it's uh, it's bloom night was last night and let's take a look at those stigmas see what they look like not much better then take a look at those not much better than the others this looks a little bit drier um, but we have several flowers that we're going to to get up um, over here in our pink flesh variety greenhouse we have the light and as you can see the lights a good example of a self fertile self pollinating variety that uh, doesn't always happen uh, but uh, it can happen and it's primarily because the stigma here touches the pollen and in this particular situation this stigma is wet but after we we um, touch it with the dry it up a little with the, with our cloth and apply some pollen I think we're gonna have better success than maybe that purple haze down there uh, just simply because it was sheltered um, by the flower bloom itself over on the back side we have here another delight variety and you can see it has the same situation so it's in much better shape that flower kind of protected it um, over on the back side we have a white flesh Ooh, look at this coyote interesting I hear them at night but I never see them so over here is uh oh sorry I'm keeping my eye on this animal here that's uh, I have my back towards uh, but here's a Hana variety and as you can see the stigmas in pretty bad shape for it as well and um, it uh, is in 
probably bad shape because the flower is pointing up. You can see here it faces up. So we'll uh, we'll update you and uh, we'll let you know what uh, what the results are from our little experiment. And uh, thanks for watching.